All right, Shalom. I want to start off by saying, call her la la, Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh the Father in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right. And um, I don't have really a topic. So I just, you know, cut the camera on. And um, as I head to this destination, you know, uh, Lord willing, the Lord will give me a topic, you know, because, you know, we're truly in that time, all right, that you got to seek this truth, all right? You know, the scriptures say it was our mind to go astray, so seek the Lord 10 times more, all right? You know, we've been going so long, you know, without the truth. And the truth is, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. The scriptures also say the truth shall set you free. All right. Meaning your spirit, man. Okay. Because once you've been enlightened, you will now understand, you know, the times in, in which you're living in. You know, you will understand the why. You will understand the how. You will understand the who. You know, where. All right, these things are important. All right, because if you don't know your past, you won't know your future, man. All right, and um, you know us being Hebrew Israelites. All right, we're in that time to serve the Lord because you know. Let me get this scripture real quick. This is Romans chapter thirteen and eleven. It says, "In that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake up out of sleep." It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So this is surely a time, all right, in the season that's placed upon, that's, well, excuse me. This is definitely a time, all right, in which we're living in where you have to be enlightened, man. There's too much information going out on the highways or byways, all right. There's too much information going out on the highways of the internet, all right. And if you're not in tune into what's going on, then you're going to get left behind, man. All right. But in all reality, this truth is given to those of the whole four elect. All right. So it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake up out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So in all reality, it's all about salvation. It's all about us getting delivered. You know, in which we hope and hopes that we are the elect and that Yahweh shall return and deliver us from this devil, man. You know, because we're going to rule this earth, man. All right. Whether you hear or forbear. The truth of the matter is, is that the Israelites is going to rule the earth. All right. We're going to rule it in righteousness. You know, a lot of people can't see it. A lot of people don't have the vision. You know, they don't they just don't believe it. You know, they can't they, they can't imagine it, you know. But it ain't given. It ain't given to them, you know, to have the vision. The vision is given to those that's of the hopeful elect. All right, you know. So, as the scriptures say, for now is our salvation. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. All right. So that means that, you know, when you think about the Lord coming, He's coming sooner than you actually expect. And remember what the scriptures say about Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, is that he said that he would come like a thief in the night. Let me get this other scripture real quick. Let's go here. Because we uh we as men of the Lord, we've been warned, man. We've been warned by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Alright? And what did he tell us? This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. All right? So we don't need to be written unto anymore. We don't need to do no shows when the Lord closed the doors of repentance. All right? When he closed the doors of mercy and he have sealed his elect in their foreheads. You know? He allowed the angels to let go the winds. That's which he's holding back. All right? The destruction upon this place. There's no need. To talk up to, to explain, or let's say, as the scriptures say, wave the hand and tell them to go into the gates of the noble. 
There's no need for that. All right. It says, but of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. And when a thief in the night, when he make his move, you unaware. You know, you probably in your pajamas. You tucked up in your cool, you know, your, your comfortable bed. All right. You laid up, you pillow, you pillowed up. And, and meanwhile, you know, someone is breaking into your home. All right. So Yahweh Shai is coming as a thief to you Edomites. All right. Because this right here is your home. You have raped, robbed, and pillaged the so-called Native American Indians, all right? And you enslaved the Negroes, West Indian, Haitians, and Hispanics upon this land in which you stole, all right? So as the Lord said, even in Zechariah, all right, he said these, um, he's talking about the angels, the chariots, you know? Matter of fact, let me see if I can go and get that real quick. If I'm going to jump back, I wanted to hold my precepts, but I get back to Romans 13. Let's go to, um, let's go to, is it Zephaniah or Zechariah? I think it's Zechariah. Right. Now I'm going to try to get to the point. Zechariah 5, chapter 5, and um, I start at 3. It says, then he said unto me, this is the curse. Matter of fact, I start at 1. It says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. And the length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. And that's actually talking about a chariot, in which today you will call a UFO. All right? These are the angels that ride in these vehicles. This is what Zechariah was seeing, and he was describing what he saw. Verse 3. Then said he unto me, this is the curse. So what you call UFOs, they are the curse from the most high. All right. It says, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. Okay. And where you see the UFOs flying at and what you call UFOs all over the world. All right. It says, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. And everyone that still have shall be cut off on this side according to it and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off on that side according to it I will bring it forth say of the Lord of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief <laughs> you know so this is my point these angels are coming into this house the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night into your house Esau it says I will bring it forth say of the Lord Yahweh of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. All right. Who say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. They are the synagogues of Satan. All right. Who you, uh, another scripture uh, says, uh, who you thought was all together as one, but the Lord shall reprove you right to your face. All right. Because you thought the Lord most high was with you. All right. You thought the most high was with you in this kingdom. But you fail to realize that the Lord sent out the men of the Lord to reprove you, all right? Who was made contrary, who was who was made to confound you, man, all right? Contrary of your doings, made to reprove your thoughts, all right? It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right. So let me get my precept. Let me get my scripture back. Going back to Romans 13 and 11. So now let's go back to this first Thessalonians. It says, for yourselves know perfectly, first Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right? So no one is going to escape this judgment, man, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? The bigger picture is salvation, man. 
And at the end of the day, no matter what's going on, it's about salvation to the elect, you know, and destruction upon the wicked. All right. I'm going to pull over here and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make this uh, lesson short. All right. This guy right here. Let me just get out the way. All right. Now it says, verse three, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travailed upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right, because the pain that's going to come upon you is similar in comparison. It's like a woman uh, having a child, having given birth. All right, you know, that pain is uh, crucial. All right, when a woman is having a baby, you let her tell you, you know, all right, that shit is crucial, man. And, and it's going to come quick, all right? It says, verse 4, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. So for us, those of the hopeful elect, we, we know this, man. We prophesize this. So that day is not going to overtake us as a thief, man. When we see the Lord, when, 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 when let's say this, the scriptures say, um, um, when, these, when these prophecies come to, uh, come to pass, the scriptures say, look up. Why? Because our our redemption, our salvation is near. So we're going to be looking up, man. It says, verse 6, Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So, if, so you know, if these guys out here, they're not teaching, they're not pushing the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're not aware, they're not awoke, they're not uh, believing, they don't know who they are as nationality, all right? They don't have the faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Then guess what? They're asleep, man. And the Lord told us not to sleep with them. All right. When it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sobered, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. See? So now it goes right back to. The word salvation you know because that's what this truth clearly is about man you know for us brothers to wake up to prophesize put our hands to the plow never look back and 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 pray for a few days into this place and keep seeking salvation uh scriptures say give the lord no rest till he established the kingdom all right so back in romans 13 and 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake up out of sleep so you gotta wake the hell, you gotta wake up. All right, you gotta stay woke. You gotta watch and be sober. All right. Scriptures say don't let your sins weigh you down. You know, because we all we're not perfect yet, so we fuck up. But guess what? You don't wanna, you know, commit any sins that's that's liable to put get yourself put to death, man. You know? You know, we all fuck up, you know, you, you slip up from time to time, but not the sins that 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 you know better because the ones that, like the Lord said in the law, is some sins unto death and some that are not. The ones that are that ones that are unto death, all right, like in particular, uh, committing adultery with another man's wife, that's premeditated, man. You know, when you think about it, you don't just slip up and stick your rod into a woman's, you know, cleavage, you know, cavity. That's premeditated, you know. But um, it says um. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. All right? The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. So we got to put off the wickedness. All right? Now it's time to tighten up. You know? It's time to, you know, tighten up and, um, and, and get right. All right? Get more focus. All right? You know, it's more that you can do for the Lord. Now is the time to do it. You know? It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us not, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as do others, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering, not in wantonness, not in strife and envying. Because those are the ways of Satan. Those, what, he, what we just read, the rioting, all right, the drunkenness, the chambering, the wantonness, the strife and envy, those are heavy demons, all right, that, that drives you away from the truth. You don't want to teach this word for uh, strife and envy, you know? You want to teach this word 
and prophesize because you hopes to be in delivered. You got guys out here that teach the word for strife and envy. All right. You got the guy, you got guys out here that teach the word to be glorified. They want to carry a reputation in which the Lord Yahweh Shai have had held no reputation. All right. This truth is about Yahweh Shai. You know, we're just uh, hope. We're, we're just uh, those that that just hope to be a part of Yahweh Shai, man, and be counted as the chosen. You know, in all honesty, man. So it says, verse 14, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, and make not provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And lust, of, and lust is a motherfucker, man. All right? Lust is a motherfucker. That's a demon. Okay? That is a demon. You know, now, the word lust itself is not a bad word because you can lust after some food. You can lust after some drink. But when you lusting of, of, of you going, you're lusting beyond your appetite, then you're going off. If you less than beyond your appetite, you're going off. All right. The scriptures talk about us being spiritual and not carnal. So in our reality, you have to sacrifice more of the flesh and live more in the spirit. You know, and that's just the truth. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, those uh, Lord's willing, those who have the hope for elect, hopefully, hopefully you'll be edified by this by this show. Um, and with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.